Well, I'm back from the water tower and it was an amazing event. I had such a good time. I'm really happy that I got to meet so many people in the community. Now I am gonna cover the water tower in a different video. This video is gonna actually be about a very cool spell book that was featured at the event. I had a chance to sit down with John Cabanez and he did such a good job in the interview that it really didn't need any editing. So this was a quick one to get up and I'm really excited because this is the spell book that had the hornets in it. Not only did it have hornets in it, but the way that John utilized aura was very unique and very unexpected for the water tower. So I hope you enjoy this interview and I hope it encourages more people to think outside the box for future towers. First, I guess, uh, tell us your name uh, and tell us about the interesting desk that you built for the water tower. Yes, my name is John Cabanas and I built a one water aura deck and it was sided in, so no water aura in my main deck. My thought process was I didn't want to go meta, I wanted to counter the meta. And this was even before knowing about the times three multiplier. So I was like, what, what stopped water from being good? And it was lightning, it was hornets mm -hmm. early game. So that's what I stuck with. So this was before you knew about the the, yeah, the multiplier. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I was like, and you stuck with it. After I you stuck knew. with it. All I right. was like, I'm gonna roll up and oh. pray for heads. All right. So that's what I stuck with. So walk us through your your deck. So okay. you didn't ha you had the one water aura, which was side deck. Yes. So what uh, what did you have for aura in your main deck? So yes, for auras, main deck. I played two prism, of course, and three lightning. Or actually, that went down to two. Two prism, two lightning aura. Two prism, two lightning aura. My aura facts, um, gravestones, of course, of Manjack, uh, mermaid scales, two, 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 tooth as well. You need those. And then I did play a chaos crystal for a lucky river of time play to get max hornets out. So that was that was fun. Uh, of course, the draw power of the tidal pools. I stuck with three. Three is amazing. You need three. And that helped me pull out my aura packs and my hornets turn one or two. Next comes the beasties. I made a last minute change to go, instead of four keyhole crabs, I went two keyhole crabs and put in two uglooks. All right, okay. early game or kill aura packs, absorb. All right, I played three absorb auras to help me get that second water. So uh, while well, well, like crustaceans, of course, of course. keyhole crabs, because I really love the paralyze and then that 20 damage to disperse everywhere. Mm -hmm. Math is so difficult and it's even more difficult with times three, <laughs> especially if you don't study enough. So stay in school. Uh, Uglugs, key, I changed this the night before. Uglugs, scuba gear. Yeah. I, Those are coming in with fleet. Fleet, right? yes. Coming in with fleet. And of course the late game chess. It helps me draw anything to bookmark as well. And my Mishis, these guys came in clutch because I would I would just lay down my whole hand at times and draw four, disperse 40 damage. Yep. And then defenders, insane. Like how else would you counter this? You'd have to, a Mishi versus Mishi yeah. dice roll or power with a frog. Exactly, you have to hope for the paralyze. Hope for the paralyze. And then of course my draws. Yeah, Frogman, Lublin, cheers Ohio. <laughs> and then let's see. Okay, River of Time necessary. Yes, uh, River is active or of course, you got to play it. My uh, Drown Sea Orbs. Those were clutch. Early game, I would absorb an aura pack, get this down, and that equals my water aura. Yep, okay, so it has to convert. Yes, it has to convert for water, right? I This was huge. This was part of my base. I would not go below three. I would only go below three if I were to side deck and put in pass traps. Okay. If my opponent was playing Vantage Man. Vantage Man was such a headache for me. Yes, I don't even attack into it, but it's going to block all my Hornets. Yeah. Right. Vantage Man was 190 LP. Yes. Yeah. 190 so it was, it was LP, 10 damage. It was yeah. a wall. <laughs> yeah, I could send six Hornets and that's not even enough. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then APP Clutch. It's insane how many Lightning in the Bottles to stop. That was very fun. APP. And of course, two Prism, uh, two Lightning. And then my Hornets. Oh, there's a absorb. So uh, five Hornets, uh, game changer. It's just insane That's seeing all my tokens out. My tokens, I was able to support my buddies. So uh, of course, Medikai, Benwin Art, Benwin Art, amazing tokens. And then Joker's favor. They both, him and Helena, they had a booth and they, they had their tokens and their art out there. There you go. 
and then of course a new beginnings i was new thinking going yeah. aggro with the new years yep. but i just couldn't risk new yearsing myself so that is the yeah. no water or a main deck and then the side deck so side deck is two uglugs that's what i would side in to take out my keyholes normally if they were running orifax and then um i just had this just because it's too good it, i actually didn't even cite it in but it it was there <laughs> uh dampens for maybe the tower or a power up but really power up red was not played i didn't even play a power up because of manaya they will instantly manaya whatever is power up so i did not play power up uh past traps i love cumberland dragon jet yates good work i have cumberland on my argos map and that was clutch for my traps that helped me kill a frogman that helped me kill orifax early game and that really just disabled opponents the towers this card is ridiculous i never played it but it's ridiculous <laughs> it's uh, Toxic Waters, I thought about this for like Nishi taking away first strike, that's about it. Uh, this would help for Power Up Red, no one was really running that, or any uh, Dampens, I believe. And uh, I did have Advantage Man in my solo Water Aura, which just hung out. Don't drink the Aura. <laughs> there you go. So this is by far the most interesting spellbook that I saw at the event. Right. Wow. Good. So I think I, I saw somebody with a red dress. So there was somebody playing Lady in Red, I believe. Yes. Um, I've heard of uh, some people with uh, two red inks and a blue ink floating around. Amazing. Aratus. But to have one water aura to go in with the hornets, but five hornets, five hornets. Max. That's amazing. And, you know, you really kind of played into the, like you said, you know, what was beating water before. What, what really inspired you to to try to do this? knowing you know we had the 60 percent rule and exactly that. it felt like a challenge it I was did. like in <laughs> itself i was like i am not buying meta cards i'm not buying loveland mailman manaya's yeah. uh ultima hahas that's like one thousand i was like what can i create so that's what i stuck with yeah stuck and you went five and oh five wins three losses five and three sorry yeah that's... one point away 15 points I, yeah it was i know where i messed up too. it was a mulligan it was a mulligan, it was a mulligan. i had two artifacts right I went first, opponent had a aura, river of time, another aura, absorb, uglug, killed both my aura max. And yeah. that was round two, game three. And that was my loss. That yeah. led, I went one win, three losses, and then won four in a row. <laughs> it, it was such, it was, All up, right. it was interesting. It was fun. That's but, awesome. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the community? This is an amazing game. Um, I went, I came from Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh from my high school uh, classrooms <laughs> or like the little study groups uh, when you were in study hall and not studying, playing TCGs. Uh, but I'm excited to see where this community grows, develops. There's a tower each month nearly. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we could bring new players in, make it develop even more. And for the love of cryptids and for the love of the game, stick with it. Mike Waddell, great work. Continue what you do. Awesome. Are you, are you planning to do more towers? Eventually, yes, as I free up time, as long as birthdays don't fall on the same day. Yep. So that's what's happening <laughs> with two of them so far. All right. And they're big birthdays. All right. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yes. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you.